the moment we've all been waiting for is finally here. Microsoft has officially released Windows 11 for older computers and laptops, introducing Windows 11 Enterprise LTSC. With this version, there's no need to bypass any system requirements. It does not require TPM 2.0, and there's no need for a new processor. Every processor from the era when flash memory was first used in Windows can run this version. So, if you have an older device, you can now enjoy all the features and improvements of Windows 11 without any hassle. Stay tuned for a detailed walkthrough of Windows 11 Enterprise LTSC. Don't forget to like and hit the bell icon to get notified about my latest videos. The official installation file is online for everyone to download for free from Microsoft's official website. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a bootable flash drive so you can run Windows 11 Enterprise LTSC on your old computer or laptop. First, go to the Microsoft website and download the Windows 11 Enterprise LTSC installation file. Keep in mind, this is an evaluation copy. The stable version is currently available on the Insider program. The stable version is expected to be released later this year, probably in October, but I'm not entirely sure yet. We've been asked to please select your Windows 11 IoT Enterprise LTSC download. The first option includes both AMD and 64-bit processors, making it a bit larger, while the second option is exclusively for AMD processors. If you have an M1, M2, or M3 MacBook Pro, you can use the AMD-only option for testing. Moving on, we have a list of five prerequisites, which are essentially precautions you should take. The most important one is the third, which states, do not attempt to upgrade a previous version of Windows with this software. Remember, this is an evaluation copy, and you will not be able to revert to your previous Windows version after installation. Next are the installation guidelines. While they are extensive and should be reviewed when you have time, there's one crucial point to highlight. A product key is not required for this software. This makes the installation process simpler, allowing you to set up Windows 11 LTSC without the need for a product key. Now let's look at the hardware and processor system requirements. This is very important. This specification defines the minimum hardware requirements necessary to boot and run Windows IoT Enterprise, as well as update and service it. As you can see, there's a table below comparing the preferred recommended requirements to the optional minimum requirements. It can run on a 1 GHz, 2 core processor with 2 GB of RAM and 16 GB of internal storage. Insane, right? It also supports various storage types, including flash memory like USB. Additionally, it supports both boot firmware options and does not require TPM 2.0. Plus, it can work with any display. Now let's head over and download the installation file. I'll pick the first option since I'm going to install it on several devices, bringing those old computers back to life. The file is roughly 4.1 gigabytes, so wait until the download is complete. Make sure you are connected to Wi-Fi for this download. I'm currently not connected to a strong internet, so this might take a while. In the meantime, let's prepare for the installation process. Everything we will need includes a USB drive, at least 8 gigabytes, and the tool to create the bootable drive, such as Rufus. Now that my download is complete, let's head over and open a new tab. Search for Rufus and select Rufus Download. Click on the first option in the search results. On the Rufus website, look for the version of the Rufus software that is suitable for your device and download it. Once Rufus is downloaded, we'll be ready to create our bootable USB drive with the Windows 11 Enterprise LTSC installation file. After running the Rufus file, there are some important settings we need to configure. I have my 32 gig USB drive installed. So under the device drop-down menu, I'll select this USB drive. Under the boot selection, click select and choose the Windows 11 Enterprise ISO file you downloaded. Under the partition scheme, choose MBR for BIOS systems. Since most old devices use it, then leave the file system as NTFS or FAT32, depending on your requirements. After configuring these settings, click Start to begin creating the bootable USB drive. This process might take a few minutes, 
so be patient. Once it's done, you'll have a bootable USB drive ready to install Windows 11 Enterprise LTSC on your old devices. Be sure to check out my other video where I guide you through the process of installing Windows on any computer or laptop using the bootable USB we just created. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. Your support means a lot.